In this video, we will try to understand how to calculate the Rankine cycle efficiency in case of a steam power plant. Now, the user will input the values of boiler pressure P1, P2 is the condenser pressure. So, from steam table at boiler pressure, the value of saturation temperature you have to input, then specific enthalpy of dry saturated steam, then specific entropy of dry saturated steam. And similarly, at condenser pressure of P2, the user has to input this particular value that is saturation temperature, then specific enthalpy of liquid or water, then specific enthalpy of evaporation or latent heat of evaporation, then specific entropy of water and specific entropy of evaporation and the specific volume. So all these values will have to be inputted by the user and then you will get the output that is the Carnot cycle efficiency and the various parameters of the Rankine cycle efficiency. Now if you want the, this particular calculate then you can just email me at rajangosavi at the rate gmail.com. Now let us try to understand the problem statement first over here. Now this example we have taken from Gujarat Technological University summer 2016 question 3c. So in a steam power plant, the steam is supplied at 15 bar pressure and it is dry saturated. The condenser pressure is at 0.4 bar and we have to find out the values of Carnot cycle efficiency and Rankine cycle efficiency neglecting the pump work. Now in our calculator, we have calculated the values of Rankine cycle efficiency considering the pump work as well as neglecting the pump work. So let us start with our solution. So boiler pressure is given as 15 bar, let us call it as P1, condenser pressure is P2 and it is given as 0.4 bar. Now we have to show this particular diagram. Now we have to show this particular cycle on TH diagram. So let us first plot this particular TH diagram. So as you can see over here, the boiler pressure is 15 bar and condenser pressure is 0.4 bar. Now this 1 to 2 it is the pump work, then 2 to 3 it is the sensible heat that is supplied in the boiler, 3 to 4 is the latent heat, then 4 to 5 it is the expansion in the steam turbine or prime mover and 5 to 1 is the heat rejected in the condenser. Now this 0.4 it is lying on the saturated vapor curve and therefore we have to take into consideration the values of Sg and Hg which are representing the values of specific entropy and specific enthalpy for dry saturated steam. 0.5 it is lying in the weight region. So for the calculation of the enthalpies and entropy, we have to take into consideration the values of S weight and H weight that is specific entropy of weight steam and specific enthalpy of weight steam. Whereas this 0.1 it lies on the saturated liquid curve. So this is the saturated liquid curve. So for 0.1 we have to take into consideration the values of specific entropy of liquid and specific enthalpy of water that is SF and HF. So once we identify these particular things then we can easily solve the example. From steam tables we have taken these particular values that is at 15 bar the saturation temperature then specific enthalpy of dry saturated steam then specific entropy of dry saturated steam. These are the values which we will have to input that we have already seen. Then at 0.4 bar the value of saturation temperature, specific enthalpy of liquid or water, specific entropy, specific enthalpy of evaporation, then specific entropy of water or liquid, then specific entropy of evaporation and specific volume of water. So all these values the user will have to input into the calculator. Now let us start with our solution. So first we will find out the Carnot cycle efficiency. Now the saturation temperature at P1 is 198.3 degrees centigrade. So convert it into Kelvin. Then the value of saturation temperature at condenser pressure is 75.89 degrees centigrade. That also we have converted into Kelvin. And we know that Carnot cycle efficiency is given as 1 minus T2 upon T1 or T1 minus T2 upon T1 multiplied by 100. So just substitute the values so that we will get the Carnot cycle efficiency over here as 25.972 percentage. Now in case of the Rankine cycle we have to find out the various parameters. So first we will have to consider the isentropic expansion process in the turbine that is 4 to 5. Now we know that in case of isentropic process entropy before expansion will remain same as entropy after expansion. 
Now, as we have already seen in our curve that the condition at point 4 is trisaturated. So, we can say that it is Sg4 is equal to and at point 5 it is wet. So, it is S wet at 5. Now, the formula for entropy of wet steam is Sf plus X5 into Sfg. Now, at point 4 it is the boiler pressure. So, this is this value of Hg we have to take will be at 15 bar. Then SF and SFG we have to take at the condenser pressure because 0.5 denotes the condenser pressure value. So all these values we have to substitute from the table. So Hg will be 6.441. SF this Hg will be at 15 bar. This SF at 0.4 bar is 1.026. SFG at 0.4 bar is 6.645. So rearranging the terms we will get the dryness fraction at the exit of the turbine as 0 0.8148 now it is given in the example that the pump work is 0 now the pump work is given as h2 minus h1 so we can say that h2 minus h1 is equal to 0 or h2 is equal to h1 but we have already seen that h1 the point 1 it lies on the saturated liquid curve so we can say that h1 will be nothing but hf at condenser pressure that is 317.7 now 0.4 it is lying on the dry saturated curve so we can say that h4 will be equal to hg at boiler pressure so 15 bar is the boiler pressure and corresponding value is 2789.9 kilojoule per kg now 0.5 it is lying in the wet region and it is related to the condenser pressure so it is h wet at condenser pressure that is 0.4 bar and the formula for h wet is hf plus x hfg substitute the values of hf and hfg at 0 0.4 bar so value of hf is 317.7 value of hfg is 2319.2 and dryness fraction just now we have calculated as 0 0.8148 so the corresponding value that we will get is 2207.612 kilojoule per kg now wt is the turbine work and that is nothing but h4 minus h5 because 4 to 5 is the isentropic expansion in the turbine so substitute the values so h4 that we have calculated is 2789.9 and h5 is h5 that is nothing but this h weight and that is 2207.612 now the network will be turbine work minus pump work but in our case the pump work is zero so we can say that w net that is network is turbine work now using these values we can find out the heat supplied in the boiler so heat supply in the boiler is from 2 to 4 so it is h4 minus h2 so it is 2472.2 kilojoule per kg now the rankine cycle efficiency is nothing but network done divided by heat supplied multiplied by 100 the network done is nothing but in this particular case is the turbine work so that we have already calculated and heat supplied is 2472.2 into 100 so that is 23.553 percentage now these values we have already seen in our previous slide these are the values which user will have to input in the calculator and you can compare these values so using our calculator we can say that the values that we have obtained over here for the efficiency is 23.553 so you can see it is matching with our value over here so this is the last row where we are having this particular value that is 23.553 neglecting the pump work and considering the pump work it is 23.49 so using this calculator you can get the dryness fraction at the turbine exit which we have already calculated then pump work then h1 h2 h4 h5 then turbine work then network then heat supplied condenser load and the other parameters that is efficiency considering the pump work and Rankine cycle efficiency neglecting the pump work similarly you can get the value of Carnot cycle efficiency over here as 25.9728 now suppose let us see this particular calculator in action suppose we are having some different values the boiler pressure instead of 15 bar it is say 35 bar and condenser pressure is 0 0.2 bar then how to calculate this particular Rankine vapor power cycle efficiency that we'll see and assuming that the entry to the turbine the steam that is entering the turbine is dry saturated so let us see this calculator in working so let us input the various values so boiler pressure we are 
we have inputted then condenser pressure now the various other values are also shown over here so we are substituting the values in the table so corresponding to boiler pressure and condenser pressure so various values like saturation temperature then hf hfg sf sfg and specific volume so as you go on substituting the values the corresponding values of the efficiency will also change over here so now in this particular case if you are having the values of boiler pressure as 35 bar and condenser pressure as 0.2 bar and steam is dry saturated at the entry to the turbine the efficiency neglecting the pump work that we'll get is 30.8677 in percentage so in this way you can use this particular calculator for any value of this boiler pressure and condenser pressure within limits and you'll get all these particular values within a minute thank you very much for watching